with 138 horsepower and 123 foot-pounds of torque, the same plant found in the Accent. The front-wheel drive six-speed transmission comes in either a manual version or a dual-clutch automatic configuration. One of Hyundai's successful moves has been to pack a vehicle with content, and the Veloster continues in that mode. Blue Link, the brand's telematic system, comes in three different levels, including an option that can read text messages to a driver. The Veloster also caters to people who live in their cars, so to speak, with a standard 7-inch screen that can be used for gaming or watching a movie, something that shouldn't be done with the car in motion. We did notice that at highway speed there is some road noise, not surprising considering the Veloster size and factory tires. Handling is pretty responsive even though it's a small car. It's available with standard 17-inch wheels and 18-inch rims come with the upgraded model. In the North American market, Hyundai appears to be targeting the Veloster to younger or first-time buyers who need transportation, economy, and content. Surprisingly, it might also attract drivers who want to seriously customize their rides. The jury is still out on that part. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.